a boys minish cap one here. Gonna be trying out a bit of a different singed build today. Uh, this kind of somewhere in diamond. It's like diamond three, diamond two yellow right now. Uh, MMR. Gonna be trying out some CDR focus singed against Hecarim top lane with ignite. If he decides to chase me, I'm just gonna leave the wave. Ooh. The range on that Q is deceptive, huh? Okay, he's gonna leave me alone, so we'll go ahead and proxy it out. Uh, I took a little bit of damage there. But that's okay. I went um, Cosmic Insight here for some uh, Summoner Spell CDR and Item Haste. I went Nimbus Cloak, then I went uh, Transcendence for Ability Haste. Then I went uh, Ability Haste Shard, then I went Armor and AP. So we don't have as much AP level 1 as it normally would. Normally you have 30, uh, 33 or something like that? Yeah, you have 33. I have 24. But... I can still at least proxy the two waves. If I had not taken the harass, I would have been able to proxy full three, but at this point, not worth it. We can look for a uh, volley bear here. Okay, I'll let Pantheon finish this. I don't wanna. I don't wanna fuck around and die, so <laughs> we'll let him do that. And then, uh, I'm gonna get my boots here. If he gets in trouble, I will TP up, but I think he's fine. Potentially can kill this, potentially he can gank mid as well. Let's we'll see how it goes. Bling you. He got a potion charge off of him there, which is good. Not trying to walk up until I have fling. He's uh, very strong in trades. Especially with the charges up Q like that. We can beat this guy if Pantheon comes. And he's going for Crab though. That's okay. We'll leave him. Alright, let's just grab this. Benefit of CDR and Singed, obviously, yeah, your ultimate cooldown, but you get more flings and more Ws, which is quite important as well. This kid is potentially killable. Oh, they found a uh, Volley Bear. Nice. That guy's gone, though. Not bad. Damn, you really need that corrupting potion. Holy crap, I'm um as fuck. He's not TPing though, so for whatever reason, we'll take it. Nice. Oh, he TP'd mid, interesting. I have CDR boots here. I could just grab my CDR boots, honestly, but that might not be worth it compared to getting, like, mana sustain. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get mana sustain, and then I'll go CDR boots next. CDR boots also gives you, um, summoner spell haste as well, so we have dub double summoner spell haste with this setup. Ooh. Saplings, Maokai, saplings! You hate to see it. Nice. Let's hack his double buffs, so I gotta be careful. Holy shit, he hurts. Oh my god. I couldn't flash his charge. Uh rip. I should have just flashed earlier, I probably would have won. But I also thought I could cancel the charge if I just held the flash. That's okay. No more you know. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and rush those CDR boots. Now I kind of regret not having CDR boots, because if one, I would have had movement speed advantage, and two, I would have had the summoner spell uh, CDR advantage. Nice. That guy's dead. But yeah, this is this is 18 Summoner Spell Haste, and CDR Boots is 12% Summoner Spell Haste. So that's actually quite fucking strong, because it's a percentage increase, or decrease. Shut 
I'm gonna ignore this guy. I probably can't fight him without my, uh, everything. Actually. Do I get him? God, he heals so much. Everyone heals so much. Look at that stain. Pantheon might be able to dive in, but Pantheon's also level 4, so... We'll see. Ah, this guy's leaving. That's okay. We'll let him go. So much healing on everyone, man. League of Legends. Yeah, on the bright side, his TP is down. So I can grab this way, maybe grab the next one as well. That puts us at a pretty big uh, CS advantage and gold advantage. He does run back to lane pretty fast, though. Alright, we'll grab CDR boots. Grab some AP as well, I need some hitting power. Alright, what's my TP gold then? 170 compared to his? 388, holy shit. Wait, that's such a big decrease. That is that accurate? His Ignite's 180. Wait, so my TP cooldown is lower than his Ignite cooldown with this. Hold on. That seems a little broken. Is that accurate? I'd assume it is accurate. My flash cooldown? Aw, oh, doesn't say. I, I can actually know my flash cooldown until uh, it comes off cooldown. But I could just casually TP mid here and hold it if they decide to push it. Which they might. Here comes Sakura running back top lane. Flink cooldown is 7.2. W is 12.3. That's not bad. Let's get out of here. Ooh, am I out? Holy shit. We live in, boys. I had a feeling he was there when he ran right at me. I think that's worded. Gotta be careful. My ult cooldown is how much right now? 86, not bad. That's pretty low, all things considered. For level 1 ult especially, considering the base cooldown is 120 seconds, an 87 second cooldown is like, holy crap, that is so low. Alright, we're gonna troll a little bit, we're gonna Cosmic Drive first, just for fun. I'm gonna TP right in the top lane. Because why not? I can. Okay, so the actual cooldown is 266, I don't know why it's at 170, that's super weird. But still, compared to his, 388, 266 is super low on the TV. That timer seems kind of bugged. All right, Fling is now 6.7, W 11.5. Ultimate is now 81, nice. It's actually almost up, which is insane. I'm not afraid of you, Hecarim. Fill your pink ward here. Holy shit. Damn, we got like every cooldown. Oh, we killed him! Nice! Holy fuck. 
I actually managed to click swap onto my ghost and just outplayed the fuck out of the Hacker voice just stayed there. <laughs> he's tilted! Oh fuck, he's tilted, boys. Alright, more CDR, what do we got now? 76 second ultimate cool- wait, hold the fuck on. That's nuts. What's my flash cooldown? 182? So, what- I got the cooldown to like 100 and- 210 maybe on flash? There's Hecarim Teleport. Wait, this is gonna be crazy once I finish Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive gives you CD- or uh, movement speed based on your cooldown. Interesting. Could potentially be really strong. Yeah, if I didn't have my ultimate there because of my CDR, I would have been dead as fuck. Because of my cheeser dog build, I'm actually playing super aggro. Love to see it. It's a very consistent build too, because you're not really relying on anything conditional. No hunter runes. Don't need kills for it to be good. This is interesting, I might play around with this some more. My ability haste is 37... 37% CDR, that would be insane with the old system. 37% is so much, holy shit. That is kind of crazy. I can ult, like, super casually. Okay, there's Volley Bear. Yo, I have four tower plates. This is demolishing this guy's tower. I don't even know where Hecarim is. I'm pretty sure he's just tilted. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to fight me because he's tilted. I'd be tilted too. Pretty sure you're dead, kiddo. Oh shit! Whew. That's scary. That's an Ash Arrow down, though. I have Cosmic Drive now. Even more CDR. So I have 76 second will cool down, 6.3 second fling, 11 second W. Now I got 71 second ult, 6 second fling, 10 second W. Holy shit, man. This does kind of go hard, I gotta admit. Alright, we'll go for a Demonic or something here. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I wanted to go Night Harvester. Because Night Harvester is a uh, mythic passive, it gives you ability haste. We'll do a chunky little Night Harvester build. Sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, I have TP in 7. These guys are fucking doomed, though. I'm gonna go anyways, because I can afford it with my low-ass cooldowns. Nice. How much movement speed does this give me? It says it gives me 24 movement speed. Yeah, I am quite fast with this. My total CDR is equivalent to 40% right now. Very nice. Ooh, another Ash Arrow down. You ain't getting me, buddy. I grab a smike at that crab. Yeah, 24 moving speed off of the uh, Cosmic Drive is quite nice. Basically replaces my Celerity. That I don't have because I want Transcendence. Dude, I can make so many places I'm just perma-ulted. I'm not perma-ulted, but I have ult like as I need it, which is quite nice. Alright, we're gonna group for drag. I don't even need a recall, I can just like go grab this plant and then if I need more mana or health I can just use my ultimate. Ooh. 
Wait, she's alive, holy shit. Ah, I see, Katarina balanced. 12 kills with the, uh, Rack and Slayer, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sounds about right. No! I'm gonna go ahead and steal that one. It's so nice to just have my ultimate, like, always. Insult Potion. I can just get... Well, see, I, I want to keep the uh, Dark Seal because it's giving me a lot of AP right now. <laughs> yeah, it says my cooldown on Teleport is 680, so I'm pretty sure the indicator for Teleport is just bugged. Or the, uh, the timer, I guess. My ultimate's already up. Oh my god. I can just ult for fun. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Looks like the heck room on AFK. I'm pretty sure he did. I think he might have already, like at one point. <laughs> oh wait, there he is. I feel like this would be kind of nice with, uh, <laughs> oh man, they surrendered. I feel like this would be kind of nice with, um, Stopwatch as well, or Zhonya's, because it gives item CDR as well in the build. Kind of interesting. Man, I actually just turned that whole fight with the 85 second ult cooldown earlier. Very cool. I think I'll play around more with this build. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it.